tuning in. Um, this morning, we are getting ready. I just finished getting ready, and I'm waiting on Chandler to get ready. She's finishing up. Um, we are here in Dedham, Massachusetts, just an hour southwest of Boston. And um, we are about five minutes from the courthouse right now. Some of the protesters we've met last night, we met Aiden Kearney. And uh, it's, uh, it, was, it was a really fun dinner. Uh, it was a really, really entertaining dinner. We met a lot of people. We met Paul and Jess and Rita and of course Aiden in the flesh. We met uh, Dana, we met, uh, who else did we meet? I mean, we met a bunch of people. There was like 15 of us in there, maybe even more, I think 16. But anyway, um, really, really exciting stuff. And I'm just sitting in the car, <laughs> warming it up right now because it is, it's pretty brisk here in, uh, It's pretty brisk right here in um, Massachusetts, in Dedham. Also, for those of you who uh, have been following uh, the Dummy Kruger and uh, what's his name? I always forget his name because I just care so little about him. Um, Chris, Chris, whatever, whatever his channel is. I don't, I don't remember. I don't care. Um, there's another video that's going to be dropped by Dummy Kruger, so be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. That's going to be either later today or tomorrow. Yes, I do have the pink tie. Of course, in solidarity, everyone is uh, wearing pink today. Hey, Alabama Rose, thank you so much. We got a moderator in the chat this early in the morning. Good for you. Thank you so much. Uh, so we got the, the pink tie and she's got a pink hoodie she's going to be putting on that we bought at the airport. And uh, of course I got my badge. Um, so we'll see. I'm very excited uh, to be there and watch the jury picking process in action. Because yesterday most of the stuff they couldn't air because they're basically asking questions of jurors and they don't want to put the jurors on blast, which is the smart move the smart move so um while chandler is getting ready I'll, I'll just fill you guys in on the latest as far as i understand i was trying to keep up with it yesterday but it's so hard because the uh oh there she is look at that look at that beautiful pink sweater hey. <laughs> say hi to chat chandler hi chat <laughs> she's it, it's um it's got uh, Louisville on it, so it's uh, representing our home city. And um, <laughs> somebody says, I'm having Johnny Depp flashbacks. Um, all right, so now that we're all here, if you don't mind, babe, can you uh, hold it in any, any way? You can hold it on yourself, you can hold it on me, but I need to. Hashtag buckle up. Uh-huh. 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 I also need to hashtag buckle up. I can't do that necessarily if I'm holding the selfie stick. Give me a second. I got you. We're not in a hurry. We got all the time in the world. Well, we do want to get there. Eventually. Yeah, on time-ish. All right, here we go. Now that we're both hashtag buckled up, uh, let's put the address in. We can actually, I found out, look, we can walk to the courthouse and it will be faster than driving with all this traffic. Really? Almost. Almost faster. Huh. And there's your favorite store, the You Break I Fix store. <laughs> she just really it. loves the, the name because it's like, you guys know that, that store, right? You Break I Fix. It's like you break your cell phone. It's my favorite store. It's your favorite store. It's my Because I break things that need to be fixed all the time because <laughs> I'm very clumsy. Yeah. <laughs> can I put this like somewhere? Like, I have to hold this. Well, you don't have to hold I, it. I kind of need the use of my hands for something. Absolutely. Here, let me <laughs> see if I can get this. It. Let me see if I can get this set up right here. Sorry, I can hold it a bit, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Let's see. I didn't do anything about it. Like, put on some mascara. Got you, got you, got you. Well, let me see if I can get it set up. Right. Yeah. Oh, you have a tripod. Yes, I do have a tripod, but awesome. it's the pro only problem is get, getting it to stay while I'm moving. Yeah, there's another way that you have a tripod. Okay, well, let's see. Let's try this. Let's try this. All right, here we go. And we're moving. How's that working? I don't know. So far, so good. There's a lot of surface area on this thing, so I don't have to hold it. And I can use my hands. Because you know me, I like to use my hands. <laughs> Are we live? Yes, we are live. Fantastic. Oh yes, chat. I said hello to chat. It's early. I'm still I'm still finishing my coffee. It's like say hello to a non-chat. <laughs> my brain has not started braining yet. Well then brain it. I'm I'm doing it. Oh, it's yeah. already been brained. <laughs> Remember that? Uh, no, you've never seen it. Chandler has never seen another teen movie. Not another teen movie. I have not. Oh my god. God, it's a cult classic. Is it? Bring it. Oh, it's already been rotten. And so has my phone. Shit. <laughs> Bring it. Oh, it has already been rotten. I'm sorry, I can hold this in a second. I know, I know, it's okay, it's okay. I just, I did a sharp move. I wanted to save us a little bit. I made a sharp move. And the phone just collapsed. It has already been. I just need to hold it like this so it doesn't fall when I make maneuvers. But I'm not like holding it. I'm just holding it in place. That way it's safer. As long as you're safe. Exactly. Can you just put your hand on it for one second? Yeah. I can do that. Actually, I got it. I got it. Never mind. Okay. We're good. Okay. I'm going to do this. And then this. There we go. All right, now, now we go. Um, yeah, remember, there, for those of you who have seen the movie, unlike 50% of this car, uh -huh. there's a quote in there when the cheerleader goes to the other cheerleader, it's like, oh, bring it. And the other cheerleader goes, oh, it has already been brotten. And she doesn't get the reference because she's never seen the movie. I just thought it was another Larryism. It's not a Larryism. So anytime uh, we have a, a rule in the house now, when anytime I say something that is not like a quote from something, it's just a Larryism. Is that a rule? <laughs> I guess. Yeah. See, even even Nikki Cav goes, "It's already been broughten." She knows. <laughs> she know. Nikki knows. Wicked, 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 Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. Oh, sweet. They're letting us through. Thank you. For everyone wondering, yes, Larry is always like this every morning, immediately when he wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> I have the energy of a thousand suns from the moment my eyes open in the morning. I don't know why. I don't know how. Don't ask me. I'm glad you do. She's like... Somebody needs to between the two of us. <laughs> she's I'm, like... I'm not a morning person. What did you tell me the other day about my, my mood? You're, what was it? You're happy that I'm always in a good mood. Did you do not remember that? I don't remember exactly what I said. Are you are you ever not in a good mood? Do you not remember that? That was literally the other day. No, like three days ago. I don't three remember. days ago. She was like, uh, I came in and I was like singing or something and it's like eight thirty in the morning and she's like you are in such a good mood. You said, you're in such a good mood today. And then you're like, wait a minute. When are you not in a good mood? Remember that? Do you <laughs> yes. not remember that? Yes, I do. Okay. That. All right. You are pretty much always in a good mood. I, I like that though. I, I like that. That's, it's very reliable. It's very consistent. I'm very consistent about my crazy. My crazy is always, my Lamborghini is in Ohio. It's being worked on, by the way. It, she's getting ready for spring. I'm getting her all polished up. There's a few like dents that the previous owner put in my car. Oh, somebody um, asking about bubbles? Yeah, somebody's asking about bubbles. Um, so there's like a little nick on the on the handle. There's a little nick on the the hood that they that they caused. Anyway, they're all getting fixed up, and uh, she should be ready by Friday. And hopefully they'll ship her next week. 
and then I'll be driving her, what is that going to be, like April 24th, 25th, 26th, I hope to, to drive my baby. Bubbles. Yeah, because the weather's going to be gorgeous. It's oh, been, the weather is perfect. It's been so beautiful, we haven't been able to take her out. Yeah. Let's see. Cheerful energy mornings is a blessing for some. I can't read the rest of that. Sorry, Alabama Rose, we're moving. Oh, hey, Alabama Rose. Good morning. Yeah, she's modding. Nice. Love seeing that name. Or hearing <laughs> that name. Oh, they have bagels. Bagels? For next time. For next time. Yeah. Yeah, because we got to go... get to the place. You know, if you want, I can grab, like, I can run out and grab some food. Yeah, it's only 0.2 miles from the courthouse. We, I, I'm telling you, it would have been faster to walk. I'm not joking. We should have just walked. Then what did we rent the car for? To get from Boston to Netta. Oh, that's a good reason. <laughs> How are you feeling, Chad? Talk to me, Chad. How are you guys feeling? What, what's on your mind, Chad? This is this is therapy session time. What ails you? What's on your mind? What's bothering you? What what are you thinking about? What do you want to get off your chest? How many murders have you committed that nobody knows about that you just want to get off your chest? Do you want to sound like a glowing? Tired, need coffee, chat fight. I hate my body. Mr. Tex, no, say it ain't so. You should love your body. I'm, I have a right to remain silent, says Brady. <laughs> he starts writing, I am dot, dot, dot. I have the right to remain silent. You have the right to remain silent, but do you have the ability? You do not. Larry does not. DUI guy does not have the ability to remain silent. My mouth is uh, running on perpet. It's like one of those perpetual Rolexes. It doesn't. It, there is no batteries. It doesn't run out of batteries. Nope. No, even at night when we're falling asleep, he'll like I'll be trying to fall asleep and he'll suddenly start reciting m monologues from Glen Gary, Glen Ross. I'm like trying to fall asleep and I'll be like, like. The Put second... that coffee down. <laughs> like, Coffee's for closers only. No, the second prize is a set of steak knives. The third prize is your fire. <laughs> this is this is my life. And you know what? I'm very happy. But this is my life. <laughs> Just letting you know. Oh yeah, what's your name? Bleep you! That's my name. You drove a Hyundai here this morning. Okay. I drove an $80,000 BMW. That's my name. Mm -hmm. You see this watch? You see this watch? You're feeling sleepy all of a sudden. I don't know why. <laughs> that watch costs more than your car. One day you're going to be like, this is going to be our kids' bedtime stories. <laughs> <laughs> my children are going to be like, um, Dad, I, I, what, this, this is making me depressed. I'm not a salesman. <laughs> Cookies are for closers? <laughs> Cookies are for closers only. Daddy is the only one who gets MILF and cookies in this house. <laughs> okay, now I look presentable. I can yeah, hold baby. I can hold uh I can hold it to try back for you. Really? Yeah. You're gonna try and cut me off like this? Not you, sorry. I was right. That that is the courthouse. Ah, as, yep. as you surmised. Yeah, because it looked like a courthouse. It's got a, a golden um, dome. Dome, And I was like, babe, I think that's probably the courthouse yesterday when we went to dinner. And she was like, huh, maybe. And now that we're here and the address is saying, look, it's right there. That's our destination. We really could have walked. We really could have walked. Really, there, there was no point in us, in us driving except, um, oh, that's a beautiful dog. Those oh, are two labs. beautiful dogs. Two labs. Wow. They're gorgeous. Here, let me see if I can... Are they coming up? That's a very, there they go. Very healthy little couple. A little family. family there. Yeah. Adorable. A couple of Labradoodles. Take, taking, taking a nice morning walk. Labradoodles. Get some coffee. Get some coffee. Well, now that we're in Boston, we gotta we gotta fit in, you know. So we got some coffee. We're looking at the little dogs. Oh, I wasn't doing Boston. My my grandmother always. Used we to are eat. on our way to Be court. Cool. I was not doing that, but sure. <laughs> 
I was not mocking the Bostonian accent. No, just, I'm not. I'm not really, mocking it. Why would I be mocking it? I'm, I was not imitating I'm emulating it. it. I wasn't imitating it. You, you're, you're emulating it. <laughs> LOL. That's New York. We're doing. It is New, exactly no because my grandmother was from New York and she would always say because because Chandler and you know, you know she she like I'd like some coffee. Would like some coffee. Hey, where are my khakis? Are you saying khakis or car keys? Khakis. Okay, now you're just being. <laughs> Now you're just being a, an improv. Actor. Entering buffer zone. Look, look, look. Oh. Look, they have cones saying entering buffer zone. Why don't you show, show the chat? I don't know if I can. Here, can, I need trying. your help. I need your help. Yeah. Can you guys see entering. those? And there's another one. See, we have this whole barricade set up here. Entering buffer zone. We are now inside the 200 foot unconstitutional, no free speech allowed buffer zone by Auntie Bev. I'm sorry, I mean Benzo Bev. I'm sorry, I mean Beverage. I mean Judge Beverly. She's a doll, we love her. We love, no, no, no. She's a doll, we love her. Bev. Free care and read. Free care and read. Free, are we a violation of the law? Oh, we're yelling inside our own private domicile. Well, I mean, per vehicle. Vehicular manslaughter. Nothing puts the funny in murder like laughter. Man, like man's laughter. A bunch of lawyers walking around with their boys and their suits and stuff. I see. I see. I see pink. Look at that. A bunch of people wearing pink. Can you can we, you guys see that chat? News trucks out here. There's some news trucks. There's channel 10. Uh, there's the entrance to the courthouse. You can see uh, a bailiff standing there guarding, making sure there are no violations of the law of the First Amendment. There goes a little piggy. I mean, a little popo. Um, there's over there. We have a bunch of uh, yes, people people wearing pink. This is Dead Ham Police Department. Dead Ham, as opposed to the live pepperonis. Everybody got a little bit of a kick out of that. Then I, <laughs> I got my, my pink lip gloss. I'm representing. Remember, Captain Kirk was once a lawyer in Boston. Was he? I don't know. It's fascinating. A lot of, there's the free Karen Reed, folks. They're, they're outside the buffer zone. You see them? Yep. They're outside the buffer zone. They're got right. Some friends out here. They're right on the line. This is fantastic. Oh, is pink allowed in the DMZ? What does DMZ mean, Chad? People keep saying DMZ. And of course, my phone is not charged. Of course, it's not, honey. Why? Why would you do something <laughs> that so is going to? I think you are going to have to charge my phone. Wait, wait. Employee Possibly. entrance only. Wait a second. How do we, uh... Wait a here. second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. That's employees only. Where's the parking lot? Is that the, that's the parking lot. Yeah. Do not enter. Do we not enter. We cannot park here, apparently. We're gonna have to find parking somewhere else. How the hell are, what? I don't know where we're gonna park. Unless that's not the right parking lot. Shut uh, up. I'm looking for a space. Uh, you know what? Uh, Norfolk Group. Eh, we can park here. This looks good enough. Hopefully. We'll find. We'll figure this out later. I don't want to waste any more time because it's already. What time is it? Here, take a photo. Take a photo. We got time. Uh, take a photo. If my battery doesn't. You're run gonna take a photo. Person. Registry of Deeds parking lot. With the with the camera and the well, you can't really see. See, I want you to see the, the Louisville. Oh, okay. Here, sure. you might. It might be better. In a, Let's in go. A, in different lighting. Should I take? I should take this back. Yeah, it's cold. It is cold. It's like forties. What? I, I, I was gonna look up the weather and then you showed up, <laughs> so I forgot. It's forty-seven. It's forty-seven. Well, I'm, I'm glad we packed up. Really cold. Yeah, uh, well, I knew it was going to be a problem. Uh, oh, like key, 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 key,
Let's go find some poor test doors. You gotta stop doing that. Okay, okay, I will, I will. Sorry. I'm just, I'm stupid. Some people might take offense. I'm Why sorry. would they take offense? I'm trying to pay homage to the northern, northeastern accent. Sorry, First you know, of all, you know, I'm, did, did you know gonna, that I'm a northerner? As a matter of fact, I'm from Ohio, Ohio. bitches. I'm from fucking Ohio. So I am a northerner. I got northerner blood in me. I originally. So okay, far be it for me to stop you. Keep doing it. Look at this. By all means. Look at this. This is this is absolute horse shit. Look at this. They blocked off. Look at how many parking spots are still remaining. Look at this. Look at this. Look at how many parking spots are still remaining. And they blocked it off. They just blocked it off. Do not enter. They don't want any more people. This is insanity. I mean, but does it really surprise you, considering the fact that they've prevented free speech, they've prevented people from protesting, they've prevented people from No, and I'm not shocked at all. The, you know, their, their First Amendment, right? I mean, it's, it's absolutely absurd. I'm not surprised. There, it's just more absurdity. Yep, yep. There's a lot of support. Every time you hear a car honking like that, by the way, that's them supporting the protesters. It might also be because I'm wearing pinks and I've identified myself with you. This is like hot pink. It is very hot. I'm, I'm very, very... Oh, oh, you meant hot pink. Yes, it's very hot pink too. I'm very visible out here. <laughs> I feel I feel exposed. In a good way. In a very good way. Are you I've kidding? I've exposed myself as a, as a proponent of the Constitution. <laughs> Solidarnest! Solidarnest! <laughs> it's Russian for solidarity. It's also Polish. It's Russian and Polish? Yes. Oh. I did not know that was the same... In the same language. The, in, in both languages. Gdansk has the Museum of Solidarnosti, the Museum of Solidarity, where they, uh, where I learned about the collapse of the Soviet Union. We're gonna take you there when we go to Poland. Okay. It's it's about two hours from uh, Warsaw. Okay. And uh, okay. it's actually Gdansk was the first city in Poland that was invaded on September first, nineteen thirty nine, when Hitler. That, invaded. I, that I did know. Yeah. Oh, I think Karen's coming. I hear cheering. I hear cheering. Let's go, go, go. Yep, there she is, there she is, there she is, there she is, there she is. Oh, that's the legal team. Oh, there she is, yeah. What is that lawyer looks so familiar? One of the lawyers looks so familiar. Where do I know him from? Very lovely show. Hey, thank you. Oh, from my God. I, I, I'm trying to think who that lawyer is. I know I've seen him before. Which one? I, I don't know which one you were pointing at. The one leading the fray. Who's the one in front? Yeah, hold, on. Not, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not familiar with my name. Hold on. Maybe Chapman? Is that Alan Jackson? <laughs> who did Alan Jackson represent of recent celebrities? Kevin Spacey trial. No, there was another one. It must be Alan Jackson. C can you pull up Alan Jackson's photo? Can you please pull up Alan Jackson's photo? Yeah, sure. Oh, 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 oh. Look who it is, Larry. Hello, oh, hello. Hi. Hi. Lizzie Mello. Chandler. Hi, nice to meet, nice to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. I'm always the one on with Tom, the voice you hear in the morning. Though. Got <laughs> so you. Loud, no. Okay. We're alive right now, by the way. Is Tom here? And oh, there's Tom. There's Tom CBU. What's up, baby? 
How you yeah, doing? Hi. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome, to welcome to Boston. Welcome to Boston. It's good to see you. How are you? Inception. We're about to have Tom Inception over here. Chandler. Like that. Nice to meet you. What do you think of Boston? You love it? Nice. Oh, you have. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. did. We caught yeah. her. We, nice. we just arrived. Did, they, did you know they blocked off the parking lot? You can't park in there anymore. You can. There's like a hundred thousand. I, I can't. Go, go, if you go in, through I can't that go in there. That street. Yeah. That street you oh, go down, I went this can, way. Yeah, because it's only exit that way. Ah. So, uh, I can't even walk on the stairs. You have to go in through the there. Stairs right there. I'm not allowed to walk on the stairs. Gotcha. Okay. The, the courthouse. I can't walk on the courthouse now, stairs. What do these guys want? Why are they looking at us? They're, they're pushing us away. They're gonna slowly walk us down. They're in forces to keep us behind this barrel that was added yesterday. Oh, I saw the barrel on that side. Is there a barrel on this side yes, too? Yes, that's the buffer. That's zone the barrel. That's there. the 200 feet yep. buffer zone. Yeah, we saw that. That way, and then there's also barrel down there. That's the 200 feet buffer, and there's some protesters down there as well. Gotcha. Where the, first the, tomorrow tomorrow the, the First Amendment stops. Tomorrow it's going. The First Amendment stops, exactly. The parking lot's pretty big, so yeah. tomorrow, when if you're coming tomorrow, you can just go down that street and go in. And then once you enter, it will tell you employees to the left, all of the parking to the right, and it's massive. It's hard to tell the employees to get their cars out. Yeah. Who are parked there? One way. One way. It's just the main street. That's why. But they get all of them. They don't want you coming in or out. I went right through them. Yeah. Yeah, we're literally like a, an eight minute walk or an eight minute be, drive. It's gonna be faster to walk here though. Because of all the traffic. Yeah. We, we got more traffic, you know, yeah. coming on we were we why can't we just walk? So yeah. Like, um, yeah. Oh wait, are we coming back tomorrow? No, we're not. Not tomorrow, but we'll be back in May. We have a he has a, he has a jury trial. On Friday, so, so I have to go back. Tomorrow, yeah. But I'll be Otherwise back. I definitely day. wanted to see the I mean, look, everything else is going to be televised. Yeah. So I doing? just wanted to see at least part of the jury selection yeah. and be able to, like, you know, participate in that because they're not going to show that. And they didn't yesterday, so. No, and even when we did get in at the end, they called it to the side by you can hear questions, you can't hear anything. They all called them up. So you're basically, it's a boring, it was a boring day yesterday, yeah. huh? Yep. Uh -huh. I mean, we didn't even, they didn't let anybody in until like 2.40 and then they called it at 3. They usually break for lunch at, one, um, at noon and come back at 2. Yeah. And they didn't do that. What so did they do? Did it just break for the day? They audited food in. The Germans come out, but Cameron and her team didn't, so they must have audited food in for them to lunch. Pull up a photo of Alan Jackson. No, I I, I'm like, where have I seen, I know, wait a minute, it's coming back. It's coming back. Was he on the Weinstein? Yes. Did he represent yeah, Weinstein yeah. in, in Los Angeles? Yep. Yes. And, um, That's where I've seen him. Kevin well, I wasn't there, but yeah. yeah. Alan. Well, that was big travel well, by no, He was there for the, for the, uh, the Weinstein. Weinstein. Yeah. I was, for, I was oh, there for the Masterson. Seen him, seen him, yeah. I seen him, seen him. So I was like, why does he look so familiar? Well, first of all, he's a legend, yeah. and secondly, like I've met him in the flesh. He's like, a legend. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. That's him. That's him. That's Alan Jackson. That's so him. the jurors, uh, that's the registry you've built into, they're all congregated in okay. there. Okay. So you'll see them pretty soon, they'll all walk out. Yeah. But really? they see you wow. in any video or cameras at the Oh, show. of course they not. No, are you kidding me? I would no, never. No. So only the mainstream media news is allowed to make four pictures. Because they're not told to take their videos off. They, they shouldn't be allowed to either. Wait a minute, are they televising the jurors' faces? I don't know. I haven't seen anything televised, but they definitely no. happening. No, that's okay, look, it's one thing to record, it's another thing to broadcast. So we're not allowed to record or broadcast because we're not trustworthy because we're private media, of course. Assholes. But um, mainstream media is permitted to broadcast. Excuse me, record but not broadcast. Because I, I don't think they're stupid enough to be taken off the air for showing jurors' faces. Yeah. I, Although Court I TV did make that one time. Shown, but you'll see, because yeah. there was a guy on, standing on top of that van yesterday with his camera. Oh, for a second I thought that was Anjanette Levy with the hair. Doesn't that look like Anjanette's hair? Behind me, behind me, behind me, right there. A little bit, but we have to catch it there. Yeah, no, that's not, that's not her. Not the infamous France. The what? France. Grant, Grant Smith, Alice, well, Jealous, yeah, Grant, um, Wendy Murphy's son, that's the one over here, that's always, he was questioning Karen, but he's on to the other side, he oh. walks in with the McAlbergs. Yesterday? 
No, well, the, none of the witnesses are allowed to come in right now for the jury selection. But in the at past hearings, he's like literally walked up with Jen McCabe and all them and LG walking with his camera and walking in with them and being there. Yeah, a little entourage. That's hilarious. Yeah. He's definitely. Uh, yeah. Yes, Jack for about we have four hours. Oh yeah. He's, oh, who is this? It's an FBI. They're trying to take why him as an informant, and he's speaking to her. It's just, her. Why would you mention that makes an FBI person's name? I don't know. Because he keeps trying to paint the false narrative that he was an FBI. So, Scott McGinnis is a name that you know. He's always donating on the chat. That everybody knows. He's in the green. He's great to interview. We'll do a free camera sign in the green there. Yes. He's great to interview. The green. Can I take a picture of all you guys together? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Come on in. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. If we go to lunch, is that Are you wearing an asshole's distance? lift forever? I Sh am. So <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you left yours at home, right? <laughs> you. I, was we I thought I was the only one who follows Kirill. <laughs> Are you no, kidding? He's, hilarious. he's so funny. <laughs> the, the the bit about Mexico, our warehouse in Mexico is shutting <laughs> down. Everything must go All the for time. like five months in a row. He, he got me a couple years ago. He pretended like he died from his. All right, I'm gonna run down and like check on Scott. All right, Tom. Or right something, and he pretended because I guess he had a friend that had ended up dying. So he looked at this whole thing, and everybody thought he was really dead because he was like. And then to his Instagram awareness. gets shut down for like five years. Yes. Yeah. And when he finally gets it back, he's like, "Hey, I have 1.5 million people all of a sudden again. Hey. Let's use that." I didn't even know who that was. Oh, the I Slut Whisperer. He's, he's a funny guy. <laughs> That's literally his name. That's what he calls himself, the Slut Whisperer. Yeah. Free plug for you, buddy. You're welcome. <laughs> what time does court start? Nine? Yeah, but they don't let nobody in. Because <laughs> jurors? In. Wait, at well, they all? Might. They, no, they won't. Like yesterday, they, I mean, the media and the judge. I, I have one of these puppies. So you would have to go talk to the court officer with the media. Alright babe, you're in charge. Yeah. So, um, I'll be back. The bald one's nicer than the redhead. We'll try to get him. You just left me with the live? I did. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I'm in charge, everybody. I cannot read the chat because it's very sunny out here. Um, hi. Hi. <laughs> so, why don't you tell everybody who you are and why you're here? I'm here to support Karen Reed. Help me get into the courtroom. We've been following it quite a bit. We haven't been getting the courtroom, but turn to jury selection, they're not letting anybody in. Uh, you yet, tried to get in? Yesterday, we stood in line all day, I'll be Thank goodness it was a good day. Uh, I guess late in the afternoon, or 2.30, they let He's a few people in. Okay. Yeah, Turtle Boy got in. Uh, Interesting. Yeah, yeah, so they made it in. Uh, I wasn't so. expecting him to get in, considering he's kind of like public enemy. I mean, Enemy number one around here. Well, he was at, he was at, which is nice. Yeah. So hopefully we'll get some more people in once they get the jury selection. But I think it's going to go a few more days. Selection of jury. They only got, they got four yeah. yesterday. And we were expecting to see um, opening statements. It messes with me every time. I, I guess we're not going to catch that this time that around. Yeah. It's already bigger, like. Too. Yeah, that would have been, I mean, it would have been compelling, it would have been interesting. Oh, yes, very, very, very. Especially because, you know, I'm going to go to law school. I'm, you know, I, I, this is the first trial that I've actually been to in person that, you know, that I've been able to at least get a small opportunity, yes. maybe, to it's, see a little yeah, bit of. Oh, going right to the top, then. Going wonder, right to the top. I wonder, do you think you're Larry? What? I wonder who he's he went, talking to. He went up the stairs to the right. I guess Larry, Larry's trying to uh, talk to somebody to see if he can get in. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to see any of jury With the media, media pass, you should be able to get in. They he let should media. be. Um, we'll see. We were told some, you know, some uh, some conflicting things about whether you can actually get in or not. They've been changing the rules, Dave. Yeah, I'm sure. They're making it different so nobody gets comfortable. Of seems. course they are. You know? so, so nobody, so they're not predictable rules, so that nobody. Correct. Correct. Like, what what are some of the rules that they've changed? Uh, well, we can line up to get in the courtroom, yeah. the top of the stairs. That was the beginning of the pre trial. Then they moved us. Back halfway down the stairs, right. um, they're letting the McAlberts in, right in. The McAlberts. Uh, I don't think yes. I've heard of the McAlberts. Uh, that's that whole uh, the bad people. I'm learning new things here. Yeah, I'm yeah. catching up. I was studying for the LSAT just um, yeah. up until recently, so I'm getting all the facts totally fresh. Okay. 
Yeah. And so everybody's teaching me things, and I'm sure everybody else has done yeah. for a while. Yeah. Yeah, that was it's pretty much, that's a ball of wax of all the people that were in the house. Got it. So the McAlberts were able to get in. Yeah, they went into the care we, they, they make them wait the outside. Yeah. Um, handicapped people in wheelchairs and they can live in the Oh, God. Oh, it's terrible. One Seriously? Day, one, one day, we were waiting out here in the rain, uh, poor woman in a wheelchair. She comes to all of them. Uh, they stop me to let people into the mobile detectors. Mm -hmm. I'm next in line. I asked them to let the wheelchairs go in ahead of me. They denied them. They said, no, Very we have sick. to. Yeah. That's the court office. That's appalling. Completely, completely. They couldn't give her a space to wait out of the rain? No, no. They wouldn't let her out of the rain. That's you horrific. Know, we, we could walk around and stay warm, poor woman, you know. But oh, that's her God. dedication. That's her dedication. Well, good for her, her for showing up. Yeah. I mean, and I. She'll be here. You'll see her. Yeah. She's been at all the hearings. Yeah. You know her name? I do not want to. Well, we'll ask if we can do Yeah, later. yeah. Uh, Chrissy, or was it all the, all the people up the North Coast? Yeah, Chrissy's yeah. great. I um, I wonder if, so when Larry comes back, I don't know where he went. Um, and for everybody who's watching this live, there are a lot of people up this way. I don't know if you can see, but there, there are a lot of people who are, they're standing out here. They have, you know, the... The 200-foot platform. At the two, yeah, the 200 foot buffer, they have the free Karen Reed signs, they are all protesting, they've got the flags. I mean, this is fantastic. Can you, you hear all that support? That is fantastic. If you want to take a walk up there, you can do that. I'll tell Larry you're up there. Yeah. We can jump. Yeah, that would be fantastic. Okay, great. Thanks. Great talking to you. There's a lot of attention on this. This is kind of amazing. We've got all these news trucks out here. I should probably hit the button. Let's see if I can read the chat. The McAlberts are witnesses. I love how he just disappears and leaves here at the self I'm gonna see who I can talk to. We are at Norfolk County Superior Court in Boston, Massachusetts. For anybody who is just joining us, I'm Remy Legal and taking over for DUI Guy. He has left me <laughs> with the live stream and so I shall deliver. Got a lot of reporting going on out here. Now he's trying to see if he can get in or talk to somebody about his media pass. I don't know exactly what's going on. But uh, yeah, we're out here in Dedham. This is, it's a beautiful 40 something degree <laughs> morning and we have a lot of people out here to support pre Karen Reed. A lot of people out here for this cause. It's very exciting. Yeah, get that on film. That's yeah. important. <laughs> we've all we they make these signs by themselves. They they spend the, they take time off of work. They pay a babysitter to come here to watch their kids. I mean, people use their vacation time, their sick time. Um, you come for a couple hours in the morning, then you go to work, or you know you wake up early if you work the night shift to get here early. Everybody does their part. And people are giving people rides, and and, people, and it's just. It's a community. We are fighting a fight to help free someone that's innocent. Karen could be any single one of us. She's right. just a normal person. She's getting blamed for something she didn't do. She could be you. She could be her. She could be me. She could be any of us. 
And instead of just, I mean, the media, you guys at the media, you cut, you edit, you, you do what you want to do to splice things up, to, to spin a narrative. And, and you should do every interview from front to end. And not only that is take the time to look into all the documents in court, the, all the motions, all the findings, all of that, and then you're going to come out of there going, what in the world is going on in Massachusetts, the birthplace of America? What is going on here? A woman being railroaded and framed for a murder she didn't commit, and you can look at the evidence there. Look and now the we're at Yeah. Look at the autopsy photos, okay? And convince yourself that a woman backed up once and caused all these injuries to a man killing him, okay? There's no impact from where the car hit. Just damage from what happened after he found it off the car, supposedly, the bump on the back of the head. He has classic defense wounds on the back of his hand. Both hands are bruised. Dog bites and scratches aside from that autopsy photo, which we know the Lexus didn't cause, right? It's impossible. And, and for, for Lion Lally, that flea stack, to sit, up in, to sit up in court and blatantly say there's something in a video and twist his, with his frickin' word salads, to twist the words and then they, they actually show us the video, which has nothing, he, he literally lied in court. Like, everybody's watching it. I don't understand. It's, it's every time you watch it on TV or whatever, and it's, it's more and more, in, and it makes your mouth drop of what is going on. What is going on? We're with law and crime, so everything we do is pretty much live strong, so we don't have that much editing. Oh, yeah. kind of bring it up really. I'm going to admit what the feet was. You're in the right case. Well, yeah. you're in Boston, so you but might get a little bit of swearing in. These the people are is, real as we're they We're everyday people. people. This is, I'm this is a real fan. fan. I'm a Bruins yeah. fan. This, this, these are the real people. You talk to any one of these, this is Boston. Yeah. And you're going to get the truth from any one of them, unfiltered. And they're not going to lie to you. They're going to give you everything. Everything. It is what it wears. Karen Reed could be any one of us. The only difference is I don't, I wouldn't have the backing. I'd be in jail, convicted, and put away wrongfully if it was me because I wouldn't be able to afford this. Why does she and have the we backing? are everyday people. Why does she have the backing that she does? Well, everybody pulled together whether you donate a dollar, five dollars. She, I'm sure she was a financial advisor. I'm sure she had savings. Um, she had parents that love her greatly. I'm sure they've had to probably mortgage their houses and stuff. A lot of people in this country don't have that. You know? What's the button you want? I noticed you guys Little all have boy. But I can't even get in closer to you because if I go over the buffer zone with my turtle yeah. boy pin on. Oh, no, I think turtle boy pins are allowed. I don't yeah, know they're if allowed. they're allowed. Yeah, they're allowed. They're they're allowed. allowed. That's in support of Aiden. You, um, oh, yeah. you can, if the white one, one, we can bring get you with one. You make a donation and it goes to the Picture an imaginary line. There's a story you have about somebody, Aiden? Aiden? Pro probably the line. Aiden so is um, AKA like Turtle that. Boy, and Aiden is the journalist that first brought to light what was going on here. And as you watched his episodes from episode one, you can go to the first episode. I, Scott, how many episodes are there now? 300? <laughs> on just this day, 20? Yeah. yeah. Um, I can't give you an exact number. It's over 300, but Aiden's the one that actually broke it and brought this to light. This is ha happening because of him. He's 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 shown what's going on here, and that's where the movement started. Yeah. Scott's a better speaker than I am. Scott, get over here and talk a little bit. Right I can now, make right? a, I was here yesterday. Uh, he was here yesterday. We're not, we're not sure if he's coming today. I don't know if he's coming today. So Aiden did this investigation. You, know, you guys don't know who Aiden is. Dived. Oh, you know. and, I met him yesterday. Yeah. I, just, I just know Mr. Turtle. Oh, so he, he did this investigative dive into this story of corruption. And it was never believable. So he broke it down and he put out, um, what are we up to? I think it's 300 something. Yeah. 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 Every time he put a story out, here you go, this is this, this well, is this. And everything true. he put out has been factual. The thing about Aiden Connie is when you go to him with a story, 
he don't just school the story. If he can't back up the facts Shows the receipts. he's going to say, what you call receipt, he won't report it. So when he started on this story, a, a woman being charged with um, backing, backing over her police officer, boyfriend leaving right. him to die in the cold. Something was off with it that he that he took a deep dive we'll into. Now. So As he reported it, now there's 300 episodes, 300 blogs on this story. Um, Everyone yeah, contains a fact. Aiden Hunt dive. does not write something unless it's been backing up with facts. So Period. when he starts his his dive Here. into the story, he brings you, you know, here's this piece of information, here's another piece, and he paints this picture that anybody with fifth grade reading comprehension can read this and say, there's no way, like this, this just can't be right, but yet you look, and there's the receipt, like the email, here's the picture. So he's providing the data with what he's telling you every time. So it's been a story from the beginning to the end, and here we are today, this poor girl still getting railroaded, you know, can't read, she's factually innocent, there's no way she could have done what they, they accused her of doing, it's impossible, that it that defies any type of physics you could ever come up with. And you know what's sickening, is that all the facts that are out there, the true real facts that are out there, the DA and the judge are stopping her jurors from hearing these facts. There's a federal investigation, there's FBI specialists, independent um, accident reconstruction, three PhDs from Bayonga, who did an accident reconstruction and came to the conclusion that Ronald well, Keith was not hit by a car. His injuries don't match being hit by a car for us all. And the damage to the car doesn't match his kidney. I have free speech over here. Light does, a tail light doesn't crack into 37 pieces from hitting the All right, it looks like Larry is in the courtroom. I just got a text from him. So we're going to cut this all short. And I don't know how to cut the live. What they see. Thank you, everybody, for watching. That was a little bit that we had with the uh, with the protesters out here. There's some amazing people. We had dinner with them last night, um, and they're out here fighting the good fight. Unfortunately, they're not able to protest near the courthouse, but we are about to get in, I guess. Um, I'm gonna have to find out if I can get in too. I'm not really sure. <laughs> all right, we'll see you all later. I think. How do I end it? Do I end it this way? Do I end it that way? <laughs> no, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Let me see if I can figure this out somehow.